Hey, Shalom. 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 Hey, man, this uh, COVID-19, you know, it could bring forth a chip. It could cause a lot of people to take the chip. I'm not going to, well, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to say it's going to usher in and make the chip mandatory, but it, it's possible. It's possible it could from what I'm reading here. But I think it would just persuade more people to actually invest and actually take it. I don't think it would make the chip mandatory. But it's a possibility it could. From what I'm reading here, um, I, I originally got this article from blacklistednews.com. But the original source came from this website, which is zerohedge.com. You can go check it out yourself. Uh, the title says WHO, which which means which is an acronym for um, the World Health Organization. It says, urges people to go cashless because dirty banknotes can spread the virus. So you already know what I'm going to get into. Obviously, the chip. Um, I'm going to try and hit more precepts, but I may do some oratory here, so just bear with me. I'll try to be as fast as I can. But it says... Um, Dirty banknotes can spread the virus. So now they're pushing that um, COVID-19, the coronavirus, can be transferred through dirty money. And you know, this is symbolic because that's how you got your riches. That's how China's got their riches. That's how you people of this world, you got your riches through dirty money. So you know what? This dirty money that you got is now tainted by the Lord. And now it can kill you. You know, that, that, that's a plague. And it just shows you how terrible the Lord is. And, and you know, the scriptures is right. Money is the root of all evil. <laughs> Briefly paraphrasing. Now the money that you have, that you stole, right? You stole all this money. Now it can kill you. The Lord, now the money can give you bad times. Ain't that some shit? You see, you see how the Lord is not mocked? You see how the Lord is going to laugh at your calamity? You people are a joke, man. And the men of the Lord should be rejoicing and going a million times harder for this truth, man. You know, you may go through your obstacles. You know, demons may jump on you. But um, you know what? You got to go. You got to you gotta build up your relationship a million times stronger with Yahweh Bashem If you've never fasted three days before, try a three-day fast. No food, no water. If you can do it, man. All right? If you've, if you've only done maybe a, a one-day fast, no food, no water, go for two days. Go for three days. Got to go a million times harder because the more you level up in this truth, the more, the more, uh, the more harder the demons get. Another level, another devil. That's how you got to look at it. So you got to go a million times harder. And we're at the end. All right. So, and by the way, this was posted today, Wednesday, Wednesday February 4th, 2020. Uh, it says, it looks like the Chinese started something following reports that Beijing had quarantined dirty cash. The WHO warned on Monday that the virus could survive on banknotes, potentially spreading COVID-19 within communities and across the world. To reduce the risk of being infected by money, the NGO advised citizens in countries struggling with outbreaks to favor digital payments when possible, the Daily Telegraph reported. And um, China is not the only country that's struggling with outbreaks. Now you're starting to see outbreaks and infections being spread in the United States, California, Florida, which is in the state of which is in the United States, even in Canada, you're seeing um cases of COVID nineteen. So like I said, um th this virus could possibly you know uh bring forth that chip. Maybe it could make it mandatory. You never know. You know, time is speeding up, man. The Lord's not playing any games. And um, things things are speeding up. And I wouldn't be surprised if, if, if the COVID-19 would, would, would speed up the process of, of the RFID chip being made mandatory, man. I, I don't doubt it. I don't doubt it. You know, it's a possibility. Um, it says here that the WHO is telling the public to avoid cash is hardly a surprise. Research has found that coronaviruses have been found to live on surfaces for as long as nine days. 
During the statement, a WHO spokesman referenced a Bank of England study claiming that banknotes can carry bacteria or viruses and urge people to wash their hands. Other studies have shown that 90% of U.S. $1 bills had bacteria present. And one Swiss study found that viruses had survived on the faces of Swiss francs for days. The WHO's warnings follow the People's Bank of China last month started disinfecting currency deposited at Chinese banks using ultraviolet light before quarantining the bills for a week before releasing them back into circulation. Brits and their fellow Europeans should be increasingly careful as the virus spreads across Europe, the WHO warned via the telegraph. That's funny. You know, you people are so greedy. Now the Lord is making you fear cash. <laughs> you know, that, that's funny because that's how you got this place. By stolen riches, you built up the you built up this town off of blood money and theft and usury. You know, so now the Lord he he's really mocking you. This is this is a this is a mockery. The Lord is mocking you, people, man. This is a joke. You people are a joke. You know, it shows how feeble mankind is. You people are, are feeble, man. But uh, anyway, let me hit some precepts. This is uh. Revelation chapter 15, no, chapter 13, verse 15. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. Going into that system, man, you got you to gotta abide by the system's rules, the terms, that image, right? Not the image of the Lord. You know, what, what What reminds me of that is um, the book of uh, Genesis, Genesis, the first chapter, because the Lord, he made um, the earth in his own, in his own image, and he made uh, the sons of the power in his own image, you know, and that image really represents perfection, which is the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of this truth. But these devils, they want to make their world into their own terrible image, which is death. Right? That's the system they want to bring here. Death. Right? Not, 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 not the image that the Lord wants to bring forth. The image of death. And if you don't go along with it, you're going to be killed. Alright? Verse 16. And he calleth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And that mark is the RFID chip. That incision let me get the word here. That's karagma. Karagma in the Greek. A stamp or a stamp and imprinted mark of the mark stamped on the forehead or the right hand as the badge of the followers of the Antichrist. There's not just one Antichrist. There's many Antichrists out there. There's a lot of people who are anti Yahweh Shai. There's a lot of people that want to see Yahweh Shai dead. There's a lot of people that want to see, that don't want to see Yahweh Shai come and rule either. There's a lot of a lot of people out here. The mark branded upon horses. Yeah, why why do they say horses here? Because horses are a form of cattle, livestock, and you have to brand horses, man. You put a mark on them to show that you own that horse, you own that property, and that's all the RFID chip is. It's just a branding. It's a stamp to show that you're property of the elites and the spiritual demon Satan, man. Thing carved, sculpture, graven work of idolatrous images. Now it says stamp as a badge of servitude. So you, when, if you take this chip, that means you're, you, you have to be insert, you have to be of service to the elites. That means you abide by their image. That they have set up the rules on, in order for you to be fed, right? Which the scripture goes into talk about. Uh, verse 16, and he caused all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Right, and th that's that's true. You know, you can't buy or sell if you don't have that mark. You can't be a part of society if you don't 
have that. Right, so um, this this COVID nineteen it could bring that forth. It could bring th- this uh, this this type this type of thing forth into the future, man. And um, the RFID chip, um, how they're gonna promote, how they're gonna like promote it, they're gonna promote it as something that's going to be very beneficial towards you. And right now they're doing it through through saying you know it can make you safer. Um, cash that you know paper paper money is, is it's 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 not as hygienic as going digital and a lot of people are gonna buy into that um, for example man um, I believe it was uh, brother Ashar who posted um, posted uh, some pictures of, of what's going on in, in Markham the Markham Costco's um, the 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 Costco's in Markham. Um, everything is being bought out of stock. Everything is being bought out. Everything is being taken off the shelves, because a lot of people over there in Markham they're panicking over this uh, virus, um, causing them to take uh, toilet paper, hand sanitizers, Lysol disinfecting cloths, and you know what? Funny thing, you know Markham has a large Moabite population down there. They're known for having a lot of Moabites. So, and and the reason why they're be, why everything's being sold out is because there's a lot of Moabites there. If you really think about it, and you know that proves that a lot of people don't like you Moabites now. A lot of people are scared. That why do you think people in Markham are buying out all all all, all the items in Costco? Because they know that there's a large Moabite population there. And it's not by coincidence, man. So it's pretty serious. now. And also you have um, people going into Walmart in hazmat suits. <laughs> trying to buy supplies because they're scared to be, to be infected. So a lot of people, you know, this thing is, this thing is pretty serious. And, and you know, the other day I had someone come on my channel and, and say um, the coronavirus is fake. But, you know, the, the, I don't know, man. The evidence is pointing, is, is, pointing some, is pointing elsewhere. The evidence is saying that the cor- coronavirus is real because people are, are, are bugging out, man. Whether the virus... Wh- I, I, but I know what he means. I, I know what he's trying to say. You know, the virus in general, it's not as bad as, as how they're trying to make it. But either way, this is causing people to, to react a certain way. I don't think he realizes that, you know, people are bugging out and it, it's starting to, to affect different facets of life because now this can push forth the chip, you know, this, this is affecting things. So, um, you know, anyway, um, that's just my take on what, what I see here in this article. So I hope this was edifying. Um, till next time, just want to give all praises, glory and honor. Do you want to see how Bashim Yoshai, Bahashim Rakakwadash, the belongings to the apostles and elders of Ray Millstone that rule well. Peace and salutations unto the whole full elect. Much love unto the Akim that's out there pushing this truth in sincerity. And um, Abad the Ball, man. Shalom.